Hey out there people, time for another unedited video, completely unscripted, off the cuff. It's currently Easter Sunday 2024, and I figured I was going to make this video. I had to wake up real early to hunt for chocolates, so I'm in a real irascible mood. Anyway, I figure I would set out my opinion on yet another figure in the entertainment industry who I'm not big into. And I was inspired to do this because of a video uh, by Innuendo Studios, uh, the guy who makes his alt-right playbook type videos, and he has a video co called um, So-and-so is Wrong About the Three Cornetto Flavor Trilogy. And I was kind of excited to watch it because I thought, oh, someone is finally talking about how shit and juvenile these movies are, how overrated. Um, how they take up way too much space in pop culture. They don't really deserve the recognition they get or like the critical acclaim. Um, but it turns out Edgar Wright is just responding to someone else who's also ass kissing Edgar Wright, and then like he's also ass kissing Edgar Wright. I thought it was going to be like a difference of opinion finally, like someone actually, you know, seeing through the s smoke and mirrors that Edgar Wright set up. But uh, I guess not. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, I don't like Edgar Wright, uh, I'm, I don't know, I might be the first person to ever say this, but I think his movies are, like, extremely juvenile and lame, and maybe it's because I'm not British, you know, and I have to admit this, I have to, I have to admit that if I was British, I'd probably be like, Oi, it's me favorite pub, bro, oh baby, it's Big Ben, oh shit. Um, but because I'm an American, I really don't get any of this shit. You know, I wish I did. I wish I saw what everyone else sees in it. And it's not even like I hate all British stuff. Like, I love Warship Down. Um, I like a lot of British stuff. I've been on record saying this. I like Sherlock Holmes. He's, he's dope as fuck. Um, you know, I, 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 it's not like I, I dislike all British uh, pop culture or media. I don't like Doctor Who, really. I don't like Edgar Wright, um, I don't like, uh, I like Peter Serafinowicz, the Peter Serafinowicz show is pretty funny, but, you know, I just don't like Edgar Wright's movies, and, uh, for whatever reason, he's, like, branded as this auteur, and I wouldn't say I dislike him as much as Quentin Tarantino, maybe I dislike them equally, just for, like, different reasons, because Quentin Tarantino is extremely derivative, and then, like, Edgar Wright is, like, ex He's not really derivative, but he's just, like, really bland. Um, maybe I dislike them evenly. Honestly, I wonder what, what I ever had against Wes Anderson when I think about, like, Edgar Wright or Quentin Tarantino. There's a lot of, there's a lot of modern directors I just really don't like or, or get or why, like, they're popular. Um, but anyway, so, I don't like Edgar Wright. Uh, I'd say my least favorite of his movies is definitely the three sorbeto or whatever the fuck, you know, the the dumbass genre type parody ones he does. And I even made a whole comic, shameless plug, I made a whole comic just roasting Shaun of the Dead to shit, or just like make fun of these characters endlessly because they're so fucking stupid. Um, it's called Shane of the Undead, it's really fucking funny if you've never read it, it's like actually hilarious. But uh, yeah. I don't like Shaun of the Dead. I think it's embarrassing, you know? Um, if it, if nothing else, Edgar Wright is a director who just reminds me as an American that my country has no self-respect anymore and just, like, latches on to British stuff because we've, like, deluded ourselves into believing that monarchies are better, which I don't get. I don't get why Americans like British shit so much. I mean, Stanley Kubrick made all his movies in Britain, but he was, like, American. But, you know, that's kind of cool. Um, but his movies are way better than Edgar Wright's. And he shot them at, like, Elstree. Next, like, James Bond when that was being made and stuff. So, um, yeah, I don't like Sha Shaun of the Dead. Um, I think it's really sad, you know, because, like, the zombie genre is intrinsically American. It has its roots in, like, Haitian, you know, voodoo... And like that. And then the first modern zombie movie is Night of the Living Dead by George A. Romero. And I know that George A. Romero supposedly liked Shaun of the Dead or whatever. But I mean, at that point in his career, he was making like a bunch of crap anyway. 
and he was kind of past his peak and you know also like he's you know not not the sharpest tool in the shed at that point I hate to say it, you know George A. Romero really hit his stride in his early years and he was probably just asked you know to provide a piece of fluff for the poster oh this is great yay a new zombie movie um, but his zombie movies are better like if I had to choose between Dawn of the Dead and Shaun of the Dead which do you think I'm fucking watching? I'm watching Dawn of the Dead because it's a real movie and not just uh, asinine shit about these two British buffoons who just go around and get drunk and be like fucking jackasses. And I think it's really sad and it's, it's in part why no one takes zombies seriously as a genre anymore. Like they can be done really well, but the reason we get shit like World War Z with Brad Pitt or whatever is kind of because of what Shaun of the Dead did to them. I think that's kind of when zombies fell off. Because, um, you know, the genre starts out with, like, Night of the Living Dead. Oh my fuck, what a classic. What a, what a genius piece of filmmaking that fucking thing is. And it's about, like, racism, right? And it's got, like, a fucking black guy in it. In the 60s, it's awesome. And, and the female, female lead, and black lead, and it's cool as shit. It's a fucking... Bob, I love Night of the Living Dead. Shaun of the Dead. I'm supposed to take this seriously as a movie? I'm supposed to take this seriously as like a modern masterpiece or whatever? It's literally just like a dumbass parody of the genre that's like ass. And I don't get why anyone is into it. Because it's just like, why do I want to watch uh, British people fight off zombies when I could watch uh, American people fight off zombies? And, like, black guys in, like, America, which is, like, a more interesting route to take, I feel like. I watched this TV special, um, Darren Brown Apocalypse, you know, Darren Brown's this British ma magician slash hypnotist, and he'll, like, fuck with people's heads, and, um, he's, like, he's, there's one where he's like, oh, st break into a convenience store and steal some jammy dodgers, and I just thought, like, Oh, what a dumbass name for a cookie. Jammy Dodgers. Um, but there's one bit where he, like, convinces this guy that it's the apocalypse, basically, and he, like, he's not even really a hypnotist. He just, like, makes these big elaborate sets and shit with all the budget of, like, the taxpayer money that, I guess, you know, Britain is just able to uh, waste because it's, like, a fake socialist country, even though monarchism directly runs against the principles of socialism. So, you know, they have the, the budget for these big elaborate TV productions. So Darren Brown is able to, like, make this fake apocalypse for this guy. And he's, like, trying to tell this guy about how he has to, like, set out on the journey into zombie country. And um, there's one point where it's like, oh, this path goes to Wales and this path goes to Cornish or wherever. And I'm just like, this is supposed to be some kind of fucking epic journey. Britain is literally like one third the landmass of Colorado. I could walk across it in like two days. It's not a big country, so like you can't have a fucking epic journey there. Anyway, kind of off top, top what was I talking about? I'm sleep deprived. Um, yeah, three flavor, fl three flavors for better or whatever. Um, and then Edgar Wright was gonna direct Ant Man. I saw Ant-Man, actually. It's one of the few MCU movies I saw when it came out, just because I thought, eh, might be good. Wasn't. Full of, full of fan pandering and bullshit. It wouldn't have been better if Edgar Wright had directed it, or, like, had as much creative control as he was going to or whatever, because, like, this is not a good director, and it wasn't going to be good no matter what. And then he directs Baby Driver. Holy fuck, Baby Driver's one of the worst movies I've ever seen in theaters. It was just ass. Like, next to Drive or Taxi Driver, Baby Driver is for fucking babies. What a juvenile, asinine version of the classic heist story. I think if Taxi Driver, you know, if Travis Bickle uh, walked up to Baby Driver, that's a crossover I'd like to see. I'd like to see how Baby Driver and Taxi Driver interact, you know. And um, Travis Bickle is like, you know, not today, punk. And then just, like, is done with the shit. Because a baby driver blows chunks. Holy shit. It's way overrated. I don't get what anyone sees in this movie. It's got, like, Kevin Spacey, you know. 
And, you know, not to say, like, every movie with Kevin Spacey is bad. I like The Usual Suspects, because, um, you know, he plays like a fucking creep in that. And it, it's kind of creepy, you know, because he is, you know. It, it kind of kind of works, right? Did you know that Kevin Spacey's, like, knighted in, in Britain, even though he's not British? Like, all you have to do is buy a theater over there. He just, like, bought a th historic theater or something, and the Queen's like, Oh, you're a knight now! And um, that's how you get knighted in Britain. Yeah, they have kind of low standards, I guess. But anyway, um, yeah, he's asking Baby Driver because he's just, what a boring fucking, what a boring freaking movie. I can't stand it. And then Edgar Wright also does uh, Last Night in Soho. Boring uh, again. You know, I don't, I don't care about Britain now, so I don't care about it in the '60s. And I, you know, when when she walks out the fucking boutique or whatever. And into the, you know, she sees like the poster for a Thunderbowl or whatever. It's supposed to be like, wow, it's the 60s in Britain. Um, but I don't really care about the 60s in Britain. Um, I'd like to see Denver in the 60s or just like America generally. I like like movies set in the 60s or from the 60s, like legitimately from the 60s. The President's Analyst is one of my favorite fucking movies ever in case you couldn't tell. Um, but Last Night in Soho, major disappointment. Um, and then the Scott Pilgrim movie. I don't like Scott Pilgrim at all, you know? I don't. And I don't mind the guy who makes it so much, because he's Canadian, and he seems pretty cool. I don't think he's a good cartoonist much, but and I don't like his drawing style. Um, but I really don't like the movie. I don't like Michael Sarah. I don't like the, the dumb plot. The dumb plot is just like insult material. It's just like, oh, here's Scott Pilgrim. He's a whiny piece of shit, and he just like stalks and harasses Ramona Flowers. What? Why are we still promoting like this 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 hetero bullshit? I mean, I know it was made like ten years ago, but it's basically just Diary of a Wimpy Kid, but pretending like it's like for a more a more experienced audience or whatever. Boring. Boring as fuck. I'd rather just watch Ferris Bueller or something fun like that. And I don't need Scott Pilgrim to ruin my day with his creepy insult shit. And his, like, annoying a attitude. Um, so he's a, he's a really flat character. So Edgar Wright made that. And I, I don't even think, like, he intends to adapt a, a bad comic that's, like, really uh, one, one of my least favorite comics of all time. But then, like, he also... Is just like a bad director on top of it, so it's like crap upon crap, you know. Um, yeah, that's a miserable film. Um, but the main ones, Hot Fuzz, Shaun of the Dead, and uh, World's End, uh, they're just ass. Like I look at I look at them and I'm just like, oh my god, what does anyone see in this shit? It's the most juvenile, boring shit. And I can name so many more comedies that are fucking better, you know, Dumb and Dumber. Uh, something about Mary, you know, classics, the classics, fucking Caddyshack, that movie's the shit, um, it's funny as fuck, and, you know, there's even, like, some British comedies that I like, like, you know, I can't really find a reason to, to diss Mr. Bean, I'm okay with some Mr. Bean, you know, being a, a little, a little goof-ass, out on his little adventures, that's because it's like, you know, fucking understated and kind of subtle and kind of just like, you know, he's just he's being a little goof-ass, you know? Um, but uh, Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz and all this shit, when it's like raised to like, oh wow, it's the pinnacle of cinema. I'm like, what? These are just movies about fucking British drunkards doing dumb shit, making fart noises. I'm supposed to be like, wow. I just can't, because like... I know there's better comedies and better movies and shit that are, like, more fun to watch. And, you know, I just wish, like, America... Just above all else, we have too many double standards. You know, this is what I say. And uh, Edgar Wright is yet another example of, like, elitism in comedy. Because I feel like uh, Americans hold Edgar Wright to a totally different standard. You know, like, a movie like... Um, say, you know, whatever, Master of Disguise comes out in America. And, uh, you know, it's it's kind of dumb and juvenile, but that's kind of the point. It knows it knows what it is, you know, it's just to make you fucking laugh, it's just to make you chuckle. 
and everyone goes, oh, this is stupid, uh, Dana Carvey, uh, awful, you know, and I watch it, and it's not like my favorite comedy ever or anything, some of the jokes don't land, but Dana Carvey, and he tries his best, and it, it's fun, you know, I have nothing against Dana Carvey, I think he's a very talented guy. Then you look at fucking Shaun of the Dead, right? Just as juvenile, um, and I don't get it, because I'm not British, and also, like, it's just full of dumb crap, and it also, like, like I said, it's like, you know, just like pissing on the legacies of these great genres, like, like zombies and stuff, that it doesn't understand, because, you know, that's not, like, it's an intrinsically American thing that, like, you know, let's, let's be honest here, Caribbean's invented, um, but, you know, so, everyone watches Shaun of the Dead, and they're like, wow, wow, this is a masterpiece, holy fuck, even though the humor is just as juvenile and cloying, and, like, you know, ass backwards, just like, anyway, I look at, I look at, like, the trailer, and all the beats, and, like, the fucking, you know, needle drop, Ew, what'd you say there, huh, you know, it's just like this, this dumb crap, but because they're talking with, with British accents, Hey, what you say there? You know, we Americans just go, Oh, this is classy. Ooh, this is culture. Oh, I'm getting culture beamed into my face right now. Oh, wow. Thank you, Edgar Wright. You're so classy. Ooh. And, you know, Edgar Wright kind of looks like, he kind of looks like Russell Brand, I feel like. There's like this whole, this whole brand, if you would, of like the, the you know, the British fuck boy with the, with the nice, you know, flowing locks and the, and the mustache and, you know, like dark com complexion and all. Um, I, I don't get it. I guess it's like a, a fashion thing over in Britain to like have like, you know, long flowing hair. I do, but it's, it's orange. But, um, he looks kind of like Russell Brand. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I just can't really relate much to a movie that's all about, uh, sex and drinking. Um, cause I don't do either of those things really. So maybe that's my problem. Maybe I can't get behind a movie about a bunch of British guys going to all their favorite bars and doing a pub crawl, because that's just not something I do. Um, I don't go to bars to drink. Um, so, you know, maybe I don't get it on that level. But also, like, I don't know, there's just something very, very strange about it. Um, yeah, so I don't have sex or drink. Maybe that's one of the reasons I don't get the, these these stories, um, but I do think they're 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 very like piss poor, flimsy excuses for narrative, and I don't know. It's just the double standard that gets me. You know, it's always the double standard that gets me when like people uh, fucking hold shit to a different standard. That's why I don't like Animal House. You know. I, I, I don't really hold Animal House to a different standard. I don't like Animal House because it's about, you know, sex and drinking. Shit that I don't understand and never will. Uh, same with Real Genius with Fel Kilmer. I remember I watched Real Genius and I kind of wanted to get into it. Like, the set pieces are fun. But at the end of the day, its plot is just kind of juvenile. And all the characters just talk about, ooh, let's have sex and drink. And I'm just kind of like, yeah, I can't relate to this. So, you know, I'd rather watch something interesting, like Caddyshack, where it's like, you know, about golf, and there's like a gopher and shit. Because then I'm like, wow, something new, interesting. Um, but, you know, and I, I, there's American comedies that are just like Edgar Wright comedies that I don't like. But again, you know, they're held to a different standard. I guess Animal House isn't really, but there's a lot of forgotten ones that, that are. And, um... Yeah, I, I just feel like American comedies get kind of a, a, a double standard or like the short end of the stick compared to these British comedies that are like, wow, we're so cerebral and different and interesting. And Edgar Wright's a fucking genius just because everyone says so. Um, well, you know, I'm a buck the trend. I'm going to come right out and say it. Just because everyone says a certain director is not is like a genius, it doesn't necessarily mean he is and you're, you're, you're like dumb to buy into that. Because some directors are just, like, legit ass. And I don't get what anyone sees in Edgar Wright. Uh, he's, he hasn't made a single movie that I would consider, like, serviceable. Or, like, actually, like, worth uh, giving a shit about. You know, maybe, like... Even, like... Even, like, Quentin Tarantino, you know? I have to say, at least, like... 
I kind of get why like someone who's maybe never seen a, a real black exploitation film or a real action film from the seventies would kind of find it interesting because they don't know like that there's better stuff out there. Um, but as far as like Edgar Wright goes, like what what even is there? It's literally just juvenile crap. It's just like, oh, let's let's get drunk and make the fart noise. And, I, you know, it's crazy how people talk about this guy. One time, someone was like, oh, Nick, you don't like hot fuzz because it's it's impression of the police procedural. You know, it, it's shot composition. It's, it's lighting is too accurate. It's too accurate to the genre for you. Ooh, you know, and I'm just like, no, I just don't like it because uh, the jokes are dumb and I don't get because I'm not British and you know I shouldn't I shouldn't have to get the stuff that's like from a monarchy because I'm not I don't live in that type existence you know and like Simon Pegg does but he plays uh, Scotty in the new Star Trek and I, I don't know there's something very disrespectful about that to the Scottish people anyway so I guess my point is when all is said and done that, uh, you know, I, I don't dislike Edgar Wright because his movies are too accurate or too great or he's too too sharp or whatever. Um, I just dislike his movies because I think they're dumb. And I think, like, his... He's never made a movie that I actually, like, fucking like. Um, throughout, like, his entire film... Yeah, there's not one I can say that I like. And I think he's a great example. He's a really, really good case study. Because you can even find people who, who say they don't like Quentin Tarantino for one reason or another. But I don't hear too often that people don't like Edgar Wright. Maybe they don't know who he is. Um, but, uh, you know, I, 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 I'm sure he, he, he's, you know, a nice guy, but he needs to stop making movies already because his movies are dumb. And I'd rather just watch, you know, like National Lampoon Vacation, where uh, Chef Chase is cool and it's like awesome and great and fun and I think America really needs to step up to the fucking plate and give us something worth watching again I think America needs uh, to focus on the comedy again and make some good comedies uh, there have been some good signs as of late uh, The Holdovers by Alexander Payne holy shit what a great movie and I don't just want to be negative in this video. I'll give some props. Holdovers. Great fucking movie. Deserves every bit of acclaim it gets because it actually tries something different and tries to be like a, you know, like a Hal Ashby movie or whatever. And that's fucking awesome. It's trying something new. Wow. Here's a movie that understands its style and substance and is actually like heartwarming and funny and isn't just about getting drunk and banging. Um, clever shit. Uh, I like it. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. You know, there's lots of potential in, um, uh, even like, yeah, I would, I'll go ahead and say, it. Asteroid City is better than everything Edgar Wright's ever made. Sorry, Wes Anderson. I, I did find your, your, your panoramic miniature style, um, kind of, kind of boring and repetitive around like the mid 2010s when it was hipster mania. But now it's kind of, it's actually kind of interesting now that, like, hipster subculture has died down. And I, I do actually respect the grind that Wes Anderson brings. And I, you know, Asteroid City, better than all the Edgar Wright movies. Bo is Afraid, funny fucking movie, great comedy. Nathan Lane completely knocks it out the park. Um, I like that a lot. Uh, Bo is Afraid is a funny fucking movie. I, I enjoyed it thoroughly, um, even though some of the moments didn't land. Uh, or weren't you know exactly relatable? It was a fun a fun romp nonetheless. Very imaginative design and plot structure. Very subversive film in so many ways. Better than Edgar Wright's movies. So you know there's some good comedies coming out uh, these days, and I hope to see more. My gosh, I hope to see more. Um, my favorite comedy of the past like couple years, I have to say, is Holmes and Watson. And Holmes and Watson is a great example of just like how everyone, you know, praises uh, Shaun of the Dead and is like, wow, this is a masterpiece because everyone else is saying it's a masterpiece. And nobody's willing to just have a difference of opinion and say, like, this is ass. 
Holmes and Watson is like the reverse. Everyone just is like, it's ass, because everyone says it's ass. But if you actually watch it, if you actually sit down to watch it, you realize it's actually like one of the best uh, comedies of all time. It's actually in my top 100. And Will Ferrell, John C. Riley, they're literally the modern Laurel and Hardy. God, I hope there's more movies with them uh, sometime because they make such a great comedic pairing. And it's absolutely fucking brilliant. You know, it's set in Britain, but I kind of like it because it's kind of like, it, it's very subversive with Sherlock Holmes. And also, it kind of takes the piss on a lot of the, the British aristocracy and the stuffy stuff that, that's associated with it. Like that scene where uh, Queen Victoria gets her head stuck in the beehive. That shit made me crack the fuck up. I was like, oh my gosh, this is the funniest comedy I've ever seen. You know, damn straight, you know, Edgar Wright w would never put that in his movie because he, he's probably hoping to get knighted someday. Or, you know, if he hasn't already gotten knighted, he probably already has. Everyone's a knight over in Britain. Um, except Mick Jones because, you know, he's punk and he doesn't want to get knighted. But, uh, you know, Edgar Wright's probably got, like, the most honorable and the most excellent. And he probably doesn't want to get in bad with, the, you know, the, the monarchs. So he's like, oh, I would never put that in my movie, Queen, uh, Queen Lizzie or King What's-His-Face. Oh, I would never do that. But, you know, now it's like, it's like, uh, yeah, it's considered rude to make a movie where, you know, a king gets, like, you know, whoopee cushion or whatever. Hey, we can't make fun of the monarchs. They're special. They're our friends. Also, I don't like how uh, they refer to the monarchs as like the the royals, like they're the Kardashians or something. They're not. They're not celebrities. They're literally fucking dictators who like restrict your civil rights. So you know, maybe don't be so flippant about it. Maybe don't be like, oh, oh, it's the royals. I wonder how Kat is doing. Oi. You know, uh, it's literally like a monarchy, which is like the worst type of government possible, uh, except like an outright, you know, totalitarian dictatorship, I guess. But a monarchy isn't far behind. I don't like monarchies, in case you couldn't tell. But yeah, uh, Holdovers is great. Buzz Frey is great. Um, Holmes and Watson is really funny shit. I find it so weird that everyone loves like Tropic Thunder and fucking, uh, you know, all the uh, classic Adam McKay. But then new Adam McKay, everyone's like, and I like this. Um, it's a great fucking movie. Uh, so watch it, you know, and come to appreciate it. And just like, I'm done with Edgar Wright. Um, he's a dope. There, there's nothing he can do for comedy, especially now like Simon Pegg, who is totally boring as an actor. My gosh, what a boring guy. And the worst Scotty, hands down. James Duhon deserves so much better. Um, there should have been a Scottish guy playing Scotty. Anyway, um, I, I mean, I know James Duong wasn't, wasn't Scottish, he was Canadian, but, you know, at least it's not British. Like, you, you don't have a British guy playing a Scottish guy. That's literally, like, cultural appropriation. Anyway, um, you'd, you'd have to not know the relationship between Britain and Scotland to, to do that. Anyway, I guess that's all I have to say. I've gone on long enough. Uh, yeah, I don't like it right. I think uh, Shaun of the Dead's embarrassing, Hot Fuzz is fucking embarrassing, World's in, and just like everything else, and uh, you know, I, I just hope Edgar Wright like just quits, maybe he'll become an, a, a novelist like Quentin Tarantino is supposedly gonna do, and just like retire and take his fat stacks and move out to the, you know, his little, little British countryside and have a nice, nice English muffin and settle down and stop making crap comedies that are dumb and juvenile and, and boring and, you know, just like quit. Okay, that's it for today's little unedited video. Uh, yeah, like and subscribe and we can get to 1,000 subs. Fuck yeah. Probably before the end of the year, who knows. Subscribe and like and comment and share and all that good jazz and I'll see you in the next one. Woohoo!